brownie with a swirl of ice cream on top. It's pretty nice. You've got a what cheese. What is this weird thing? That's a cheese medallion. I've seen it at restaurants in America, obviously we have them, but I don't think I've ever seen it at a fast food place. It's probably one of my favorite items here. I've never seen that in America. Well, I mean, you've got restaurants, I'm sure, like mozzarella sticks, just a medallion instead. Right, but what's all the white specks on it? I'm sure it's like sesame seeds, something of the sort. Hello again and welcome to Expat American. We are again in Moscow, Russia, and today I want to ask the question, does Russia have fast food? More importantly, does Russia have good fast food? And to answer this question, we're going to ask a fast food expert, and that fast food expert is none other than the cameraman Josiah. How is he a fast food expert, you might ask? Well, he's from ages 17 to 27, he's a male, and he's not a professional athlete. So he's going to take us around Moscow and show us some of the favorite and best fast food restaurants. Where'd you go? So we are now at Vkusny i Toshka, Simply Tasty, which is the Russian equivalent of McDonald's after McDonald's left. We're not going to get anything here because we've got a few stops to make and it's pretty much all the same. And sometimes the fries are a little different, but that's mostly just because there's a little less salt or they're a little bigger of a cut. One thing I will note though that I only saw since moving to Russia is that the McDonald's here has a cafe. Not all Kusni Toshkas have that, but it is something that I've never seen in America myself where you can get a chocolate cake along with your cheeseburger. We're walking to our next fast food joints. And right here is shawarma, which we featured in the video is Russia Christian. And shawarma is something from the Ottoman Empire. It's like a gyro. And do you consider that fast food? It's all over Russia. It's fast, it's cheap, it's tasty. But it's a little bit healthy, I would say. So maybe it's not fast food. Or maybe fast food is healthy. We're at Kof our Kofix. It's like a faster, cheaper version of a coffee shop or a Starbucks. You pop in, get your coffee, your snack, you pop back out, in and out. It's really cheap, really quick, it's really good. It's a lot better than the coffee maker at home. There is a Kofix man, the shop we were just in, a costume Kofix character, a giant coffee cup. And I think Josiah is going to take us into this building that's under construction. If you're Russian, you know what that sign says. All right, so we are at Terimuk. Terimuk is the premier fast food restaurant in Russia. I've been here many times with my kids, too many times, so much that I've gotten a little bit sick of it. And Josiah has ordered a blini with sugar inside and a blini with ham and cheese inside. Hopefully I can read the receipt this time. This is 360 rubles total. The blini with sugar, that's sahar is 118 rubles and the ham and cheese blini is 242 rubles and this location looks a lot nicer because Josiah was telling me it has been inherited from another restaurant. Normally Teramook does not look like this, it looks normally like a McDonald's type fast food restaurant. Well, I'm cutting into the ham and cheese uh, blini now, sort of like a ham and cheese sandwich in the States except obviously it's in a blini. Blini aren't exactly pancakes, but they're close enough you can call them that. However, instead of being just sweet, they can be salty too. Hence, you know, the ham and cheese. I'm going to try it now, and you should be jealous. Alrighty, 
the sahar blini, which is translated sugar pancake, so it's a pancake with sugar inside of it. And I don't see anything, so it's just, I guess, not that much sugar. Yeah, it's a mildly sweet, uh, thin pancake, like a crepe. Recognize that sign. Okay, uh, welcome to Burger King. Same thing as America. If I had to note the biggest difference is that I don't think I've ever seen an American Burger King offer beer. Uh, yes, I'm over 18 years old. I don't know why they didn't check that. Turboard Green. I have no idea what kind of beer that is. It's just light and I like that. Uh, no, we don't need sauces or more burgers. I've already put a meal deal thing on here just to show off the various varieties they have. You'll see it when we sit down. So I thought Josiah was wasting our time bringing us to Burger King, which is in America, but it is true, you cannot get beer at fast food restaurants in America, so we have a reason to be here, and it's very cheap. Alright, so I got us the meal deal, six items for 250 rubles, so you get a burger, a drink, some sides, some nuggets. Obviously you can upgrade different things, but it'll cost some more, like you get some more nuggets, Maybe upgrade your dessert from a muffin into like a, a brownie with ice cream on top. It's pretty good. Uh, but normally it's just best to just get the, the smallest, cheapest option. It's simple, it's filling, it's tasty, and it's most of all cheap. Of course, we've got the beer here, another deal. So individually, a beer is 169 rubles, at least for now. But we got a buy one, get one free thing. As for the quality of the beer, though, well, I guess you get what you pay for. It's not too good. So Josiah, what is this thing right here that looks like a cheap muffin you might get on an airplane? It's just a muffin with some filling. You see them all over Moscow and grocery stores and the like. Come with different flavors, like a, a chocolate look-alike. Uh, my favorite is the strawberry one. I'm not quite sure what this is though. I think it's just Gushanka. So Gushanka, which I'm having to explain now because I said the word, is apparently a type of caramel filling. You see it all over Moscow and different foods. Uh, usually on top of some sort of bread product or as like a, a sauce that you pour on a blini instead of maple syrup. Still can't get used to that. I miss maple syrup so much. I'm going to tear this muffin in half to show you guys what it looks like. There we go. Get a nice look. A caramel type thing. Hence the beige quality. It's, uh, it's not an acquired taste. It is actually quite good. It's just not really my taste. If I have the option, I'll usually go for strawberry or chocolate instead. You can have it though. I'll eat it. I'm drinking the coffee that came with this meal and I went to get cream because I like cream and sugar in my coffee and they don't have any cream available. Josiah told me that if I wanted cream I would have to get something like a latte or a cappuccino but since this is just black coffee that's what it is that's all they have. So it's just an interesting difference you know in America cream and sugar is, is an option but I guess here in, in this location, they gave me sugar, but there's no cream. If I wanted cream, I would pay for a fancier coffee. So, uh, you gonna eat that? You can have it if you want. Well, I mean, did you have one or did you have two? I had one, but it's, it's not a big deal. And you're the one who called me an expert. I have this stuff all the time. I know you don't. Yeah, well, I mean, my wife's not here and just finish it. I can eat whatever I want now. Yeah, exactly. So well, eat it. I don't it. want to eat it if you want to eat it. Well, why don't you just split it in half then? It's not a big deal. I have this stuff all the time. Are your hands clean? No. I've been eating fast food. Ah, thanks. I'm glad you offered. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Alrighty, so what do we got, Josiah? So I got us a udon miso sakuritze, which is a miso udon with chicken. Mm -hmm. The name's basically the same because it's Japanese. 
So what I've noticed is that in America, there's very few Asian fast food places. And while this place is a little too nice to call fast food, all of the ingredients are kept heaped along the counter. You just tell them what you want and they put it together and they give it to you. It might take a minute or two, but it's fast, it's not too expensive, and it's delicious. It's probably my favorite place to eat in all of Moscow. What do you think? Tasty. Who's no? Glad you think so. I'm not a chopstick expert though. That would make sense. You do prefer more of like a, a Western food style. I'm very much a fan of the East. Got noodles here. Are you trying to plug our other video? I Is am. Russia Eastern or Western? You should watch it if you haven't yet. <laughs> this chain is called Marukame. It's probably the fanciest of the Asian fast food places in Russia. There's a few others. However, I think this location might have split off. The sign just said Maru instead of the full Marukame. Regardless, it's the same exact thing, the same food. This particular dish costs $3.20, which is around the middle of their prices. It's pretty good. So as I said, Josiah is the fast food expert. So he designed and planned our where we were going to go in this video. Um, but he made a mistake and there are two number one fast food restaurants in Russia. That is Teramuk, which you've already been to, and one more. Russians, you probably know what I'm talking about. And we can't do this video without that place, which has closed in this area. So we're gonna get to jump on the metro now and go back to my neighborhood, Kuntsova Plaza, which you've already been to before in a previous video with me. And we will close us out with the last famous, should I say famous or should I say successful fast food restaurant in Russia. So I took a different type of Moscow transportation over here. It is not exactly the metro, although it is part of the metro system. Uh, we're in the southeast, and so now we're going to take that same transportation system back to my neighborhood. And so it is, like I said, part of the metro system, but it's actually technically a train, I would say, or a commuter train. See, here it comes, an above-line metro train, like a commuter train, so it doesn't go underground at all. And it does a big loop around the city of Moscow. So just to explain a few things are correct that just said earlier, not that I'm an expert, I could be wrong, let me know in the comments. So this line is part of the Moscow Central Circle, which is technically part of the metro, and it does in fact go underground, or rather under our mountain, specifically at Plusha Garden. I haven't actually taken the full thing all the way around, so I don't know if it goes underground on the north side, but at least on the south side, it stays pretty much above ground, except for that one mountain station. So actually, um, they have bathrooms on these above ground trains, which is very helpful, uh, because when you're commuting, it could be like an hour till you get to where you need to go. I forgot, we were getting on the metro in the middle of rush hour traffic, something I desperately try to avoid. This is the light blue line, which is actually all above ground. So another correction to what Joe said earlier, the light blue line is not entirely above ground. Once you reach the city center, it starts to go underground again, just because of the higher elevation in the area. Alright, so we are in a food court for Kunsva Plaza. This is the mall near my house. So you can see different food places, fast food around me. There's Pizza Hut, there's KFC, which is closed. And our final stop on this fast food tour, Russian fast food tour, it's behind that giant lamp. It's called, well, you'll see. So here I am, I'm about to order a Kroshka Kartoshka. As you can see, they've got a bar of toppings. So basically, you order your potato, you tell them what you want on it, they heat it up, they give it to you, and you've got a heated potato with, you know, toppings. Kind of self-explanatory, but it's pretty good. 
So now we're gonna enjoy our final piece of food. And I just noticed behind Josiah, that is actually a fast food restaurant that has little State of Israel flags hanging under the menu. So that must be Jewish food here in Russia, which is kind of cool. That's just something I've never seen before. You can see the flags there. And it looks like the name of this place is Sarona. You know, it's actually been a while since I've actually had a, a baked potato. This is pretty nice. Yeah. I was concerned because you couldn't see the cheese, but it's definitely in there. What do you think of fast food in Russia? Does it look tasty? Remember this video next time you're in Russia and you're thinking, I want to eat some fast food. Remember what Josiah said and eat accordingly. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and click the box to see what happens next. Hey guys, real quick, just for the subscribers, we wanted to send out a message and say thank you so much because we have recently passed the 10,000 subscriber mark. And I wanted to say thank you in English to the English speaking subscribers. And my wife is going to thank the Russian speaking subscribers, but just want to let you know, it's a great milestone. We could not have done it without you. You are the reason why this has happened. 10,000 subscribers in 10 weeks. Sveta? Друзья, спасибо огромное, что вы смотрите наш канал, и он вам нравится. Если вы хотите поддержать наш канал, смотрите, пожалуйста, его с включенным VPN, и это очень поможет нам для нашего канала. Спасибо еще раз огромное за вашу поддержку.